Hello everyone, I am Adreja, welcome back. In this video, I am back with a completely new and very important topic that is voice. And I know that many of us have a lot of confusions on this topic. So don't worry, I am sure that after watching this video, you will not have any confusions at all. So, voice is divided into two types. First is active voice. And the second one is passive voice. So what is active voice and what is passive voice? Let's discuss this in details. Now, first active voice. Let's discuss active voice with the help of an example. The gate man opens the door. This is the example. Now, I think many of you might know what is subject, what is verb and what is object in a sentence, right? In this sentence, the gate man, the gate man is the subject, opens is the verb and the door is the object, right? Now, active voice is the voice where the subject is the doer of the action, means where the subject does the action. Here the subject is the gate man. So, the gate man opens the door, opens the door is the action, right? The gate man who opens the door, the gate man opens the door. So the gate man is the subject and the subject is doing the action, right? So the gate man does the action. So active voice is the voice where the subject does the action, where the subject is the doer of the action. Now let's move to passive voice. In passive voice, the example is the door is opened by the gate man. Over here, which is the subject? See, the door is actually the subject. Is opened is the verb and the gate man is the object. So the door is the subject in this sentence, right? Passive voice. In passive voice, the subject is not the doer. In fact, the subject is the receiver of the action. Means the action is done on the subject. Okay. Look over here, the door is opened by the gate man. Now, is the door open in the gate man? No, the door is opened by the gate man. Means, we, the action is performed on the door, right? So, this is passive voice. Now, look over here, these two sentences, the meaning is entirely the same. The gate man opens the door, the door is opened by the gate man. The meaning is completely same. But the way we are going to speak it is different. So this is what voice is. In active voice, the subject does the action. And in the passive voice, the action is done on the subject. Okay. But before moving further, let me tell you that before learning voice, the idea of tense need to be clear. So I have also made a video on tense. And the link is given in the description box below. If you haven't watched it, make sure to watch that video so all your doubts will be clear. Okay, now let's move forward. Before learning a new topic, we should know right what is the use of it in our daily life. So why are we going to learn voice? What is the importance of voice? So generally, we use active voice in our daily conversations, right? The gate man opens the door. Um, I write a letter, I play football, he cuts the cake, anything. So we generally use active voice in day-to-day -day life. But what is the importance, what is the use of passive voice? So there are a lot of uses of passive voice. One of the main uses is when we do not know who is doing the action. The door is open by the gate man. We can also use it like this. When we know the door, we can also use passive voice. But one of the main uses of passive voice is that if we do not know, suppose we do not know the door of an action, then we are going to use passive voice. For example, the school is closed today. Okay, look at the sentence carefully. The school is closed today. Do we know who closes the school? No, we just simply know that the school is closed today. Done. So over here, we do not know the doer, so we use passive voice. And another use of passive voice is we use it in formal notices, letters. And I think many of you have seen this somewhere that all of you are hereby informed, right? So this is in passive voice. So you don't know who informs you. 
so that's why they write it as all of you are hereby informed it sounds more formal okay now some other examples where we use passive voice where the door is not known are the diamond ring is stolen we do not know the thief okay we just know that the diamond ring is stolen so here we use passive voice the house was built in 2007 so look over here do we know who built the house no we just know the house was built in which year in 2007 okay the road is being repaired so these are some examples where we do not know the doer and we over here we use passive voice now we are going to move to the main part of this video that is voice change means how will we change the voice from active to passive so there are different ways in which we can change voices so in this video we are going to learn about voice change according to tenses but in the affirmative way in in some other video i will be back with the interrogative and the negative forms as well so let's begin now we are going to discuss the most important part that is the voice change so over here we are going to look at some rules some very simple very easy rules by which we can change from active voice to passive voice okay so let's take an example i play football okay so how are we going to change this sentence it is an active voice so how are we going to change this sentence in active voice to passive voice with the help of this simple easy rules so the first rule is this one so s is the subject and o is the object okay suppose a sentence in active voice so it has a subject at first and then object at the last just like this sentence so when we are going to convert it into passive voice the first step is that we are going to interchange the positions okay so the subject will go at last and the object will come in the front so the subject actually turns into object and the object turns into subject so the football that is the object will turn into subject so first football okay and i that was the subject will go at last and it will turn into object but here here comes a very important part that we are not going to write i at last okay the form of these pronouns actually changes when we are going to write it in passive voice so the i does not remain i i turns into me and then we turns into us he him she her they them and you actually remains the same that is you and it uh, the same with it it also remains it okay so here the subject was a uh, subject is i so when we are going to write i in passive voice we are not going to use i we are going to use me so at last as me is the object so th this is the first step the subject will go at last the object will come front the subject changes into um, object and the object changes into subject now the next one always use v3 so remember in tenses we learned that there are three forms of verb right first form second form and third form first is um, present the second is past and third is past participle so when we are going to convert into passive voice then we are always remember this we always use the past participle form that is the v3 form of the verb now first we have to identify which is the verb so in this sentence i play football what is the verb play is the verb right so what is the v3 form of play it is played p l a y e d so in this sentence we are going to use the v3 form of the verb means we are going to use played so played okay so this is another simple step now the third one is auxiliary verb before v3 so what is auxiliary verb they are the helping verbs okay for example am is are these are the helping verbs 
so they are auxiliary verb so we have to use auxiliary verbs before v3 means before plate we have to use the auxiliary verb so it depends so here football football is what it is third person singular number right so after that we write is so why did we write is because this sentence i play football is in present tense if this sentence was in past tense then the auxiliary verbs that are going to be used are was and where so we are going to discuss about this in this video later where we are going to learn about all the voice changes according to all the tenses so this is the third rule okay now let's move to the last and the final one that is preposition by before object okay so we generally it is not completely necessary all the time but mostly generally we use preposition by before the object so in this sentence which is the object me is the object right so before me we are going to use the preposition by so by me okay so football is played by me this is a sentence in passive voice so we form this sentence by these four simple rules every each and every sentence whatever tense it is in each and every sentence follows these four simple easy rules when you are going to change the voice when we are going to change the voice of a sentence from active voice to passive voice the most difficult one is actually the change according to tense okay so in this video we are going to discuss this uh, we are going to discuss how to change the voice according to all the 12 tenses so without any delay let's begin with that now as you can see i have already made a table of all the 12 tenses over here so there are three different types of tenses they are present past and future and again these three tenses are divided into four subdivisions those are simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous okay now we are going to look at the voice change of all of these 12 tenses so let's start with simple present tense at first let's write down the active voice a sentence in active voice so uh, let's take an example i write a letter okay this sentence is in simple present tense, right? Now, what will be the passive voice of this sentence? It will be... A letter is written by me. So, how did we convert this sentence to this sentence? So, as we know that the subject becomes object and the object becomes subject, right? So, a letter, this will become the subject so a letter now look over here the verb is what it is write okay this write changed to is written all right why because remember i told you that we always use the third form of verb okay so written is the third form of write right and we are going to use an auxiliary verb before that so in, in simple present tense, the auxiliary verbs that we are going to use are according to the subject. I am, he is, she is, it is, you are, we are, they are. Okay. So after the third person singular, we are always going to use is. So a letter, a letter is what? It is third person singular. So after that, we are going to use is. Okay. So write actually changes into is written in simple present tense and then we are going to use by and then the subject will change into object that is i changes into me okay it is very simple so this was the voice change of simple present tense now let's move to simple past tense so let's write down the active voice so i wrote a letter now the passive voice of this sentence will be All right, I wrote a letter will change into a letter was written by me. Now look over here. Wrote is the verb, right? And it changed into was written. 
In simple present tense, write was the verb and it changed it to is written. Over here, wrote was the verb and it changed it to was written in simple past tense. So the auxiliary verb changed. In simple past tense, there are two auxiliary verbs that we are going to use. They are was and were. Okay. So we use I was, he was, she was, it was, but you were, we were, they were. So after any singular noun, we are going to use was and after any plural noun, we are going to use were. So a letter, a letter is what? It is singular. So after that, we are going to use was. Okay. And the other rest of the things is exactly the same. I changes into me. A letter becomes the subject and we add a by before me. So I wrote a letter. A letter was written by me. Clear? Now future tense. And what is the active voice? I will write a letter. Okay. Now the passive voice will be. A letter will be written by me. Now look over here. What is the verb? Will write. Right? I will write a letter. And this will write changes into will be written. Okay. And the rest are same. But in future tense, we are always going to use be. Remember, in future tense, we are always going to use this be after will it is not a letter will written by me it is a letter will be written by me okay we have to use a b so will write actually changes into will be written write changes into the third form of verb that is written so the auxiliary verb over here is will be all right so i will write a letter a letter will be written by me now let's look at all of this one time i write a letter a letter is written by me. I wrote a letter. A letter was written by me. I will write a letter. A letter will be written by me. Clear? All the simple tenses. Now let's move to the continuous tense. So first is present continuous tense. It will be I am writing a letter. Okay. Now the passive voice of this would be A letter is being written by me. So the verb here is am writing. Right? Now in this continuous tense, look, we have also added a being. Right? Is being written. We have added a being. So we add this being to know that it is in continuous tense. Okay? So I am writing a letter. This is in continuous tense. So after the auxiliary verb that we are using is, after that we have to use being. Then same, um, it is the third form of verb that is written by me. The rest of the things all are same. Just I am writing a letter, a letter is being written by me. Okay. So with the help of this being, we understand that a sentence is in continuous tense. Now past continuous tense, it will be I was writing a letter and the passive voice will be okay i was writing a letter a letter was being written by me so same as i told you to understand that the sentence is in continuous tense we are going to use being so here it was was writing so we just changed it into was being written okay was writing changed into was being written this is exactly the same as present tense the use of was so like after a letter as it is in third person singular so we are going to write was same over here also why did we write is because a letter is third person singular just the additional thing is that in continuous tense we are going to write being after is was or whatever the auxiliary verb is so a letter was being written by me as this sentence is in past tense past continuous tense so we are going to write was 
a letter was being written and the other things are same okay so this is past continuous tense now let's move to the future continuous tense so the active voice is i will be writing a letter okay now here in future continuous tense um, in daily life we do not generally use the passive voice of a sentence in future continuous tense because it sounds really confusing and we never actually use that so it is not necessary to know the passive voice of future continuous tense because it is going to be something like a letter will be being written by me so it is too confusing so we do not use the future continuous tense the passive voice of future continuous tense so we can skip this thing okay we can skip the passive voice of future continuous tense um we can let's move to the perfect tense so first is present perfect tense so i have written a letter it is an active voice and the passive voice is A letter has been written by me. Here we get another new word that is been. Okay, in continuous tense it was being b e i n g, but here in perfect tense it is been. Now look over here. I have written a letter. Here already we have used the th third form of verb. So how are we going to tell that that sentence is in passive voice? In perfect tense, how are we going to say that this sentence is in passive voice if we already use the third form of verb in the active voice? So for that we introduce another new word into the passive voice that is been. Okay, been is the third form of be. Okay. so have written changes into has been written why has because a letter is in third person singular so after third person singular we use has so um i have we have they have but he has she has it has or anything any name any third person singular after that we use has so a letter has then we are going to write been after has or have we have to write been and then the third form of the verb okay so i have written a letter a letter has been written by me the other things a letter by me these are all same just the thing that changes is have written turns into has been written all right we just add a been it that's all now past perfect it is also similar to present perfect um so the active voices i had written a letter and the passive voices a letter had been written by me now this is actually easier than present perfect because over here we only have one auxiliary verb that is had so it will not change into has or have so it will remain had the only thing that is added is been okay had written changes into had been written that's it nothing special i had written a letter a letter had been written by me now let's move to future perfect tense so what will be the active voice i will have written a letter and the passive voice is a letter will have been written by me now look over here um in future continuous and active voice we use will have right will have written so what does it change into it changes it changes into will have been written see it is exactly the same just after will have we add been and remember been comes after will have 
not only after when will i mean it is not going to be like a letter will been have written no a letter will have been written by me okay after they have everywhere look after they have after the hat so here also after the have so will have been written by me okay will have written just changed into will have been written it is simply very very easy okay so this was the perfect tense perfect tense other conversion of voice is actually very easy just we have to add been after the auxiliary verb i have written a letter a letter has been written by me now perfect continuous tense first is present perfect so the active voice will be i have been writing a letter i have been writing a letter now actually in perfect continuous tense we do not generally use the passive voice okay in any perfect continuous tense like i have been writing a letter um if we have to convert it into passive voice then it sounds really confusing so it actually sounds like a letter has been being written by me so it's really confusing and we never use it in our daily life so um the conversion of passive voice present perfect continuous is actually not needed so we are going to skip it and then past perfect the active voice is okay this is the active voice and same like present perfect continuous tense we do not need um passive voice of past perfect continuous tense in our daily life um generally we do not use these the passive voice of past perfect continuous or present perfect continuous tense so we can also skip this one and the last one is future perfect continuous tense so future perfect continuous tense just like the previous two we do not need to use it you know it sounds really odd when we are going to like convert it into passive voice like a letter will have been being written by me so it sounds really odd and we do not really use it in our general life so we are also going to skip this so we do not actually need the passive voice of all the perfect continuous tense just we need to remember these three tenses and future continuous tense is also not required so this is the voice change of these tenses um i hope you understood all of this i am also going to be back with another video soon of voice where we are going to discuss the interrogative negative and then also there are some other ways like we can also change voice with the help of modals and we can also use let sometimes in passive voice and imperative sentences also so i'm going to talk about all of those in details in some other video so this was for today i hope you understood this if you have any doubt or any suggestions then please don't forget to write it in the comment box below and if you like this video then click on the like button and subscribe for more such english related videos thank you